Oh, liar, liar. It's a good point. It's a good point. You didn't specify which one you were doing first. Ewan Grifford stars as Andrew. He is a surgeon. Yep. No, he's yes. in the hospital. And I like he's... That, the way Matt talks, because you can hear the question mark. <laughs> that's, can... why, that's why if you listen back to most episodes, my most common word is it... yes. Opposite him is Joanne Froggart, who's playing a teacher who's recently separated from her policeman boyfriend played by Warren Brown. Who, when was the last time we saw Warren Brown? That was one of the I things... I was though. trying to think of that. Was it the know. thing that he... By I, any saw, means. I think I might have Yeah, but him. I thought it was yeah. by any means, actually. <laughs> is, this, is this a secret by any means sequel? Because it's he's I in there. Shelley not. Conn's in that police station. Yeah, if and they Lee were Pop all undercover on there, weren't they? <laughs> I, I still was... think of him as I still think of him as Luther's. Uh, you know, I know he got I think killed, he but looked I... a lot older. But I don't know whether that's him or they've made him. Look I think older he he, he did a series in Canada that no one watched because no one oh, watched. Really? It. Well, people in Canada probably did. I mean, just cause... we're subverting this. Um, they know each other through um, Joanne Frog. Is it Laura's Joanne Froggart's character? They know each other yes. through yes. Laura's sister, played by Zoe Tapper, who we saw last week in Safe House. And they sort of organised to go on a date together, and they seem to get on well during the date. We don't see all of the dates. We sort of see no. them. And then the next morning, he's sending a text saying, oh, I had a good night last night. And she basically wakes up in a state and then tells her sister that he raped her. And from there, it sort of unravels. We get, we get slight flashbacks to the night before as we hear the two accounts of what happened we get sort of question marks over both the validity of what uh, of their statements. She's saying he raped me, he, he, him saying no, I didn't, and um, you learn that she had some psychological problems. And there's mm. also a weird sort of subplot where Warren Brown and Zoe Tapper are having an affair. I didn't quite get that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was out of the blue, wasn't it? Um, he works at the police station where he's being interviewed, and there was a yes. scene where he walks right by it that people have, have picked up on. Mm. I've got some theories on this. This isn't as cut and shut as you might think it is, I don't think. You can't sustain six episodes wondering, is it him, well, is it her? Well, I read, I read that you find out after three, Joanne Froggart said in an interview, that you find out the truth midway through the series. So they're quite... You know that thing you normally do in the reviews that I hate? I'd like you to do it just this once. Um, Gary, um, what did you think of it? Thanks, Matt. <laughs> That the episode certainly moved on at a good pace. I I didn't mind the flashback because it did kind of, although you know we get annoyed if there are flashbacks right at the beginning of things. It played a way of showing you the story. What I don't know is are the flashbacks being shown as somebody's opinion of what they saw, or are they being shown as fact? Yeah. Find out. Yeah. So that that's one thing that I thought was intriguing. Companion piece to the the affair. I I did kind of yeah get a bit of the the I do get a bit of that. I feel that they that they are factual. I don't think they're right because I don't think you see them as like from people's perspectives. They're they're part of the narrative interwoven. That there was quite a lot, wasn't there, when the police interviews about I went into the bathroom, she didn't move you know and her explanation was that she didn't feel able to she was scared so it, i still think there's quite I, a lot i also think the bits with the ladies in the rape suite were almost better done than in broadchurch yeah i was thinking well the there was again though the brought that i did get very flashbacks of broadchurch at that because i think it was very similar you know the way in which they well, it was sealed the door it was identical but well, i yeah. think it was better done it was more realistic well yeah because you didn't have blooming david Tennant, olivia coleman hanging around did you no no. Well, yeah. I, I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm not even going to say of the two. I just really enjoyed it. I thought, uh, it, like you said, it, it went along very quickly. It didn't mm. feel like your bog standard ITV drama, which perhaps it had been painted uh, by in the trailers. I was very intrigued by it. It kept me on my toes. I thought Joanne Froggart and Ian Grufford were very good. Yeah. Ian Brown was interesting. It was nice to see. I, I, this will be something I'll be sticking with. What about you, Matt? Will you? Yeah, me too. Matt? Yeah, I thought of of the two. I thought the, the certainly the more sort of character based piece. I think the the trick was, and I think it worked that you had to sort of believe both of them that both of mm. them were telling the truth. Yeah, and at the same time, have your doubts about both of them. Yeah, and I think they, they did. They did. They did do that very well. I think because you've got the impression that something happened. That this might not be the first time that Joanne Froggart's done this, or there was something. Yeah. 
Zoe Tapper's husband mentioned something, and then you've got Ewan Grifford who there's something because he's a widower, but uh, did something happen to his wife? That's something yeah. they seem to well, be Well, that's exploring. what Warren Brown is now kind of looking into, isn't he? Well, he's looking into his background. My theory is, and the Williams brothers are much cleverer people than I, but I reckon that Zoe Tapper and Warren Brown are trying to get rid of Ian Grufford's character for some reason. And they know that her sister has this habit of um, perhaps overreacting or... or Yeah. And they're working together to discredit him and get him out of the picture. That's my theory based only on episode one. I read into it. I, I agree, and I think what will happen is more things will happen that will discredit her story. Surgery. She works yeah. with him at surgery. She set them up together. Mm. So she's been the mastermind pulling the strings. So, and the fact that the policeman and the sister are having an affair, maybe she's asked him, like, if I want to get rid of somebody, how can I do that? But yeah, you, there, there, there is. I think you're right. There is going to be a. There's a famous film, isn't there, where they say, "Rid me of Miss," you know, "How can I get rid of this person?" 